The uselessness of the Calvinism versus Arminianism debate. And the purpose of this video is to share my views uh, regarding the Calvinism versus Arminianism debate. Uh, and why I think that this debate is not only misguided, but for all intents and purposes is moot as well. As some of you are asking, well, what is Calvinism versus Arminianism? What is that? Uh, well, this is a debate, an in-house debate, if you will, uh, amongst the Christian community it has to do with theology. I'm going to explain what that is in more detail. But I want to make clear up front that this will not be an attack on either Calvinists or Arminianists. And I welcome your responses. Now, I want to give you a little background, first of all, into the issue. And it's going to require us to cover some terms. These terms that you see here, systematic theology, soteriology, heresy, Protestant Re Reformation, Calvinism, Arminianism, Augustinianism, these are terms that if the research is to be believed, these are terms that the average Christian has no clue about. The average Christian does not know um, what this is. The average Christian, uh, again, according to research and various surveys, is not well versed in scripture and they don't are not well versed in church history. So I'm going to cover these terms by way of giving background. Systematic theology, what is that? Uh, that is just that systematic theology is a way of a way of understanding the Bible Bible's teachings by various categories uh, that's just an overview that's my own definition so for example terms like soteriology is uh, the doctrine of salvation so all everything that the Bible teaches regarding the subject of salvation that is grouped and all all the scriptures and and all the ideas and concepts are organized and described in a under the heading of soteriology you have other uh, Christology which is the study study of the person of Christ and so on these are all uh, types of systematic theologies the second term uh, soteriology I've already covered that heresy is a any any teaching that is a radical departure or a significant departure from the historic uh, teachings of the Christian faith so things like Pelagianism uh, uh, what else uh, you, I'll let you research it on your own Protestant Reformation uh, the Protestant Reformation has to do with uh, the teachings that uh, the developments that occurred within the Christian church in the mid 16th century and they're usually marked by uh, the efforts uh, particularly of Martin Luther and, and these other men, uh, some of these other, other men that you see here the man at the top is John Calvin next man down is Jacobus Arminius then you have Martin Luther here with the little black cap and then on the bottom right is St. Augustine of Hippo. So uh, Calvinism and Arminianism are t two competing soteriologies. Uh, and in other words, they, these are different, differing systematic theologies uh, uh, as it relates to the doctrine of salvation. And they differ on issues related to God's sovereignty man's free will uh, and that's just a basic overview now why is this debate important and what is its impact well I'll, again I'll let you do some reading and your own research but basically just to give you an idea Pentecostals, Holiness, Charismatics lean towards as it relates to their soteriology they lean towards uh, Armini, the Arminius position, whereas Presbyterians, Reformed, certain kinds of Baptists have they lean towards Calvinism in their soteriology. So there there is tension amongst these groups, especially when it comes to discussions regarding the doctrine of salvation. Now, why is this debate useless? Now this debate has been raging for centuries. On YouTube is gotten out of control. We've got uh, 
Arminius or or non-identified persons calling Calvinists Satanists and we've got Calvinists calling people calling Arminius heretics or calling people who have no clue what Arminianism is calling them heretics and calling them Arminius and neither side really knows what they're talking about um, they're people are very limited in their subject matter they're wrong about the the basic facts about each other's positions and they're grossly distorting uh, the positions of people that they disagree with this this happens on YouTube it's happening on their internet and it's just ridiculous I so so the, the debaters are poorly informed and that is one reason why I think this debate is useless because if you got two people talking who don't have a clue what they're talking about, then that's not a real debate. The other reason why I feel that this debate is useless is because there's really not a practical basis for the, for any division, really. Uh, both sides agree, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, both sides agree on on much in their soteriology. And another important point is neither Calvinism nor Arminianism has ever been declared a heresy by the church in its 2000 plus year history. Now there, there are a lot of charges being made of calling each other heretics but it's never been declared a heresy by the church so uh, moving on from there it, again the, stressing the point that Calvinists and Arminius have m much in common uh, but the third reason why this debate is useless is because as Christians we're called to defend the gospel not an ism. Now I've heard many Calvinists say that they that the Calvinism is the gospel, and they they really got get this from Charles Haddon Spurgeon. Charles Haddon Spurgeon did a sermon called "The Defense of Calvinism," where he says, you know, Calvinism is the gospel. But what is important is he, that he says that this is his own private opinion. So Charles Haddon Spurgeon, very smart man, very gifted, he was smart enough to say that this was his opinion. The gospel is a message, it is not a systematic theology, and I, I would like for people to remember that. In conclusion, I want to wrap this up. My position is that as it relates to salvation, Christ is the expert authority on the doctrine of salvation. So if you were to look at this whole issue uh, as, a, as a courtroom drama, the best person that you would want to bring in to testify on the on the doctrine of salvation your expert witness would be Christ himself and there are reasons for that because Christ is the author of salvation he's the one who gives salvation he is the cornerstone of the church and all the scriptures testify of Christ so for this reasons Christ's statements on the on the matter of salvation authoritative his teachings and example are the starting point for doctrine practice of the church and all scripture must be interpreted in light of what he said and demonstrated. So Christ is the authority. So so then I would encourage people on all sides of this debate to go back to scripture and examine the clear statements of Christ on the doctrine of salvation. And that's where the one's understanding regarding salvation needs to rest um, and I'm going to leave that there for all sides who are interested in this debate to ponder um, again Christ is the authority of salvation the authority on the doctrine of salvation not uh, systematic theologies or proponents of systematic theology and I, I think that is something that we need to remember and uh, again there's not a really a basis for this division uh, if you're going to make videos and engage in debate please be informed and remember once again that we're called to defend the gospel Paul said I am set for the defense of the gospel so, and I think we need to follow his example and we need to follow Christ's example as well uh, I look forward to your comments take care and God bless